Okay, so the good news for what we're about to take a look at is it's again, it, it follows the same theme that we've been doing um, for absolute value and for rationals. Um, and that's to find boundary points and then test the intervals that we get. One new step here is because we can't take negative square roots, we have to restrict the domain. So for example, one thing we're going to want to put in our margin when we look at this first question is we're going to want to say to ourselves, well, x must be greater than or equal to 1. Because if it was less, then I'd have a negative square root. So that's what step number one looks like. We'll try that on a couple of our uh, absolute values. But basically, that's going to change my number line too. So my number line, it's not going to be, um, it's not going to look like this now. Because I've just said it has to be greater than or equal to one. So my number line is going to look like this now. Okay. This graph, it can only start at 1 and get larger, so I'm not going to look at the number line before it. I'm just going to chop the number line right there. Okay, so let's find the boundary points. This is the, the uh, task that we should be most familiar with. So this will be um, x minus 1 equals 4. So x equals 5. We're going to check our answer. That does work out. And finally, what we're going to want to do now, if I put that number there for the boundary, there's two intervals I now need to check, one here and another here. There's no point in checking any of these numbers because they won't work. They'll make negative square roots. That's why we just ignore it. Okay, so if we check in the first area, um, let's say we try x equals to 2, um, is the square root of 2 minus 1 less than 2. Um, so that's going to be square root of 1 less than 2. Yes, it is. Yes? Uh, for the first part, were you checked to make sure x equals 5 works? Yes. Um, wouldn't that be root 4 is less than 2? Uh, I see what you're saying. Um, but I'm looking for the boundary points. So the boundary between less than and greater than is equals. So I want to make sure that they're actually equal here. So I'm trying to find them. I want to make sure that I've tested that they are in fact equal, not testing to see that they're less than or greater than. Once I know where those values are, then I'm going to plot my um, number line. Plot it on the number line. Okay, um, so let's see here. Uh, yes, 1 is less than, uh, just getting my train of thought back here, root 1 is less than 2. Okay, so this works here in region number 1. If we try it another one, like let's say I try x equals to 10, um, square root of 9, is that less than 2? It's not, so we can reject that one. That will give us an answer which is between 1 and 5. So as I said before, um, to write it as between, we're going to do from 1 is less than x is less than 5. Okay, so we're going to just stop for a second and think about what we've written. Should anything be less than or equal? Um, 1. Yeah. If we tried this one, if we tried it at that boundary right there, that would be a zero. That's okay, right? It's, it's okay to be a zero, and that is, in fact, less than two. But we don't want it to be included at the five, because when I put in this value, that's where it's equal to two, and there is no equal sign here, okay? So um, just be a little bit careful about how you keep your boundaries. We'll get a bit of practice to see uh, how that works, but let's try the next one here. So first start by restricting your domain, and then go ahead and find your boundary points. Okay, so I'll try to catch up.
so that should be a plus. Okay, so 48. Okay, so I get one boundary point here at 16. And this is my domain. X must be greater than or equal to negative one-third. So this is where I start at negative one-third. And I go all the way as large as I like. And 16 is going to be the boundary. So we pick a nice number, like possibly uh, we could try x equals to 0. Um, is the root of 1 less than or equal to 7? That is correct. So this would be the area that I'm looking for. It can be less than or equals. So I'm going to include this. Um, I can also include here where it's equal to 0, because 0 is less than or equal to 7. So that would give me an answer from negative 1 third to 16. Okay. Any questions on that? OK. So let's just try this one on the left. We'll skip this one here. Let's just say uh, we'll move, on, move along a little faster, see how we do if we uh, give this one a try. So if you look at this, there's actually two domains that we're going to have to worry about. One when x is greater than or equal to negative a half. And another from this piece, um, I've got to make sure that this is greater than or equal to 0. So 3x would be greater than or equal to 4. So x has to be greater than or equal to 4 thirds. So that's the uh, long way to do it if you can't see it right off the start. But these two domains have to be true at the same time because it can't work for half the equation, it has to work for the entire equation. So what do you think we should do then if it has to be greater than negative a half, but at the same time must be greater than 4 thirds? Use the larger, yeah. So basically, if we meet this condition here, we've already met this one. So we're going to basically say that our domain has got to be greater than or equal to 4 thirds so that it works for the entire equation. Okay, so then this time when we square both sides, we want to know where does 2x plus 1 equal 3x minus 4. So that's when 5 equals 2x. And if we double check it, that's going to be root um, 11. Is that equal to the root of uh, 11? So yes, that works. 5 is my boundary point. And that's my domain up here, so I'm going to say keep the domain greater than or equal to 4 thirds. And over here um, at 5, that'll be one of the points that I have for the boundary. So let's take a look at where I might have my solutions. In this one, I might have a solution at, say, uh, let's try 2. So let's try x equals 2. That means I'm going to check is root 5 greater than uh, 6 minus 4 is 2. So yep, yeah, that, is, that is true. It works in region number 1. Um, let's try maybe x equals, uh, I don't know, 10. So at uh, 21, is that greater than, so that'll be 30 minus 4 is 26. So that one does not work. This is my region in here. It cannot be equal. It must be strictly greater. So I'm not going to include the 5. That's where it's equal. But I can include, uh, sorry, um, where it's greater. So can we include 4 thirds? Is it greater at that end? Yeah, it is greater at that end, so we can include it. So my solution to this would be uh, 4 thirds is less than x is less than 5. OK? So the only other uh, type of equation that we, oops, sorry, 4 thirds less than or equal to x less than 5.